I should not believe it once on this maid. I think there's something wrong. I'm not getting any good vibes right now. I must do something for this. Yes sure. I have to, how she said all this to me very smartly and easily. I have to do something for this. I'm doubted on this maid. There must be something off about her. I must plan something big, therefore the truth and light came in front of me and all. So thoughts everything should get crystal clear. Think Martin think. Yes I got it. I know what I have to do in this regard. Then everything will be disclosed and get cleared yes. Yes today is my lucky day. Cause, Madame Millie and Emily. They both will give me money. It will be so good to fund them. Of course, I work so hard for this. I talk so much lame and bad with each of them about both sisters. I make them enemy of each other. And I'll took advantage of this thing. Yes. Well done Grace. You are too good. No matter what is truth and what is lie. I have no concern about it at all. I only know. I'll get money from these odd sisters. By the way, this maid's job didn't pay me this much, while I get double money from these stunts. Just to borrow from the back. Wow, Grace wow. This is great. I must do work on this instead of house chores and being a maid. And now that old man. Mr. Martin. The owner, yes he is also in my control. Just see how he believed on me about those false stories regarding her own wife. Now my bread is buttered on both sides. Now I'll grab money from him as well. Wow, I'm very excited now. This family is such a fool one. So finally you are here Grace. You know I was waiting for you in this kitchen from so long. Oh so sorry for the wait Madam Emily. You know about the traffic jam in this city. Therefore, I get a bit late in the morning. You tell me, how you are doing. It's okay Grace. Sometimes it happens. Don't worry. Well, I came here to talk to you. I just want to say. I'll give you a double amount what I gave to you, but for this. You have to listen to all the conversation between my mother and sister. And keep me updated then. You have to give me every single thing, what they talk about me and all. Got you Grace? Madam Emily. It's not about the money. It's about you. I really very like you and care about you. That is why I'm so concerned and sincere with you. I only want to secure you. You don't ever think that it's about money because I'm a poor girl. Not at all. I'm very sincere with you. Oh no no Grace. I know, it's not the money you are attracted towards. It's my heart to heart connection with you. You just sincere with me, now what you have to do is. You will gather all the information. Whatever Mama and Millie talk about me and Smith. And tell that to me as it is. I also want to know, what they actually think about me and him. Okay Grace. Why not Madam? I'll do anything for you. Because, I like too much. Now go and do your work. Otherwise, someone will get doubted on us both. Go now. Okay Madam sure. How are you Grace? Have you done your breakfast? Yes, sir I've already done my breakfast. Grace, you know, I can't slept whole last night. And I was only thinking about you and whatever you said to me yesterday. That my wife doesn't like me, and do my back biting it behind my back with her mother and sister. So, I thought yes you are saying that all right to me. I really appreciate it. Of course sir why should I lie to you? You are the boss, the house owner. I take my salary from you. Then, why not I should defend you? I'm very concerned and sincere with you. Because you are such a gentle man and very good human. Therefore, I told you everything. Which Madam was talking on her phone all the time about you. I must say, you did a great job Grace. It's absolutely right. That when a housemaid is sincere with his boss and owner. Then she make him or her aware about his surroundings and all. I like this habit of yours Grace. Yes sir you are right. Okay now, I'm going to my office. See you later please collect all the information and gossips here. And when I will be back from office. Then kindly let me know. Sure sir why not? 
I will listen to everything very keenly. And when you'll be back from office, I will let you know then. Don't you worry. Whatever Madam talked with her mother regarding you. Great job. Now I'm going by. Okay sir, bye. You think you are very smart girl. But I'm more. I'm thrice an age of you. You think you can create a mess in my house so easily. No way, Grace no. I will not allow you to do this. Keep in your dirty mind. We all family members love to each other a lot. And you can't create fuss in my home. My house is my everything. My heaven. I have strong faith in my God. He gave me this courage and the wisdom to ponder upon the things. I shouldn't believe any outsider, any maid regarding my wife. Why should I fight with her, and make things worse? I must inquire all these before, then take a step against this maid. Grace, have you washed the clothes? Yes, madam. All the clothes are washed and just waiting for them to get dried. Okay, then come to the lounge area and start the dusting there. You spent half of day already. Now don't be late, okay? Okay, madam. Hello, mother, how are you? Did you take your medicines? Grace, is there any update? Anything new? Yes, madam. There are so many updates. But let me do the dusting first. Then I'll let you know everything in details. Okay, okay. No problem. Carry on with your work. I'm waiting for you right here. Then tell me each and everything, okay? Sure, madam, why not? Madam, I wanted to talk with you about something. Yes, Grace, tell me. Madam, if you don't mind it, please. Can you please lend me $1,000 only? I'll give them back to you soon. Actually, my mother was not feeling well. Therefore, I borrowed from someone last month. Please, madam, help me. Okay, Grace, don't worry. You are very dear to me, and think a lot for me. Why should I not help you? I'll give you but no need to return then, please. Thank you so much. No problem. Yes, Grace, is there any new update? Sir, today I heard your wife was talking with her sister regarding you. Sir, you can't imagine how bad words she was using for you in front of her sister. She was saying Martin didn't give me money for household expenses and many more things. His behavior with me is very odd, and my both daughters also don't like my husband due to his bad nature and behavior. Okay, okay. Please tell me what more she was saying about me, Grace. She was saying, My husband Martin is a very greedy man. He only wants my properties and money. He have no interest in me. Only love my wealth and properties. Oh my, she think about me like that. I will not spare her at any cost now. How dare she say about me? Sir, I really feel bad whenever she thinks so bad about you. And talk about you like that. Okay Grace, well, you told me so many things today. And opened up my eyes. Thank you sir. Why not? Wait here please. I have a surprise for you. Hang on for a while Grace. You are a very nice girl. La, la, la. Yes, Martin, what happened? Why you take me here? Amy, today I put a voice recorder in your phone. Before leaving to my office. Because today I want to show many things. Kindly give me your phone. What you want to show, Martin? And voice recorder for what? Hang on, my dear wife. I put this recorder due to that girl, Grace. She always said to me, Mr. Martin, your wife Amy always say bad about you on phone. So, I know you very well. Your nature. Your honesty and sincerity. Kindly open all the voice records. I want she also listen. And then I will talk to her about her lame and false propaganda in my house. Sure, why not? Thank you. Kindly the voice in full volume. Yes, this is all. Okay, thank you, my wife. Stand up, Grace. 
Oh my god. What type she is. Like she playing game in my house. Yes, she playing game here. She only wants we both husband wife start fighting with each other due to her false propaganda and then she took advantage from all this fuss. Daddy and mama you both are right. She creating a mess in our house. Grace making a false stories by her own self and then start blackmailing for money. She said to me. Your mother and sister don't like you. They both doing backbiting of you and many more things she told me. This is all only for the sake of money. Go away from here. I have fear of God. That's why I didn't take any action now. So from here this is lesson for you. You lose this good salary job from your own hand. Leave this place now. And yes Grace stop this bad habit. This is not good for you in future in fact. Don't make angry to your God. I clear your remaining dues now. Take this and go please. And ask God forgiveness. For this bad stunt. I got my lesson. I should not do this. Now look I lost this job and make my God angry with me due to this bad and worst habit of false things and gossips. I should promise to God. I will change my habit of this. All five finger are not equal. All maids are not like her. Only few of. So kindly be aware. And yes here is the most important lesson is this don't share your family and personal matter in front of any outsider please. Thanks for watching. See you with next story. Take care bye.